Hey there, Michael Bust here, math teacher. Uh, welcome back to my channel as I share uh, video tutorials specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students, but uh, anybody is free to use them. So here we go. So here we are in lesson 2.6, sales tax tips and markups. Uh, once again, let's keep our focus on the essential question. How can percent help me understand situations involving money? Um, here's gonna be some very specific examples about how you could then answer that essential question. Let's start out with example one on page 152. So Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140. The sales tax is 5.75%. Uh, what we want to find out is what's the total cost of the exercise equipment. So that'll be the cost plus whatever is being taxed. Um, now, we can think about this in two different ways. And we're going to focus on method one first. Uh, where we're going to add the sales tax to the regular price. Okay, so the way that I'm going to think about this is part equals percent times whole. Now that ought to feel uh, familiar to people. Um, this part is going to be, this is how I'm going to find out my tax. So the part is going to be the tax that we're going to add on to the regular price of the exercise equipment. So I can say that my tax equals the percent, so 5.75% as a decimal is going to be 0 0.0575. And then I'm going to multiply that by the whole, which was the cost of the uh, exercise equipment, which was $140. What I'm going to get out of that is $8.05. Now that I now that I found the tax, I can take this $8.05. I can a little bit. $8.05 and add it on to the original price which was $140. So then the total cost of the exercise equipment with tax will be $148.05. The second method is for me to add the percent of the tax to 100. So I can start out with 100% plus 5.75%, and that's gonna give me a total of 105.75%. That number right there represents 100% of the cost of the exercise equipment, which is $140, plus the 5.75% of the tax. All right. So I can say that I've got my part equals my percent times my whole. This part is going to end up being my total. All right, so there's going to be my total here. So that's going to be 105.75% times $140. Well, 105.75% is the same as 1.0575. I'm going to multiply that by 140. <clears throat> and I'm going to get my total cost of $148.05. So either method whether I add the sales tax to the regular price or if I add the percent to the tax 
uh, percent, sorry, if I add the percent of tax to 100%, I will get the same answer. Now I'd like for you to try problem A on page 152. Here's a good time for you to pause the video, uh, take a look at uh, some of the other examples, come up with your solution, and then hit play again so that you can see if you're on the right track. In problem A on page 152, I have a total of $44.31. Let's take a look at tips and markups. Tips and markups are going to behave uh, in a similar way to sales tax. So uh, a tip would be uh, something that you give to somebody, like for example, a server at a restaurant. Um, they've done a fabulous job uh, you know, presenting you your dinner, the food was very good, you decided you want to give them um, kind of a little bit of an extra, um, kind of extra cash. Uh, markups would be when a company uh, takes something that they've purchased and they increase the price in order for them to make a profit. So in example two on page 153, we have a customer that wants to tip 15% on a restaurant bill that is $35. So we wanna find out what's the total bill with the tip. Just like in the previous example, let's take a look at two different methods. So the first method, we're gonna add the tip to the regular price, okay? So I can say, I'm gonna use this same uh, percent equation, part equals N times W. This part, is going to give me the tip, okay? So now I'll have 15% times the whole, and the whole was the $35 uh, bill at the restaurant. I need to convert 15% into a decimal, that's 0 0.15, and I'm gonna multiply that by 35, that's gonna give me a tip of $5.25. Now I need to take that $5.25 and add it on to the original bill, which was $35. So the total cost of this uh, meal at the restaurant is going to be $40.25. Now I wanna look at the same problem, but with a different method. I'm gonna add the percent of the tip to 100%. All right, so I've got 100%, that's the 100% of the cost of the meal, which was $35, and then I'm gonna add 15% to that. That's gonna give me a total of 115%. Now, I'm gonna use the same percent equation. Now, this time, what this is going to give me is this is gonna give me the total with tip. All right, so my percent now is 115% times 35, which was the whole, I need to convert 115% into a decimal. That would be 1.15. And I'm gonna multiply that by 35. And that's gonna give me a total of $40.25. So just like in the previous example, both methods are going to give me the same answer. Example three is a little bit different. Um, here's what we have. We know that a haircut, haircut is going to cost $20. The sales tax on that haircut is 4.75%. What we wanna know is, is $25 sufficient to cover the haircut with tax and a 15% tip? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both of my percents, 
I'm going to take my 4.75% and I'm going to add on the 15%. So that's going to give me a total of 19.75%. So I'm going to basically take the $20 and then I'm going to add on 19.75%. Okay. So I'm going to start here. P equals N times W, where P is going to be uh, my total. <clears throat> well, actually, P is going to be what I'm going to add on to uh, my $20 haircut. So that's going to be 19.75% times $20. 19.75% is the same as 0 0.1975. I'm going to multiply that times 20. And that's going to give me uh, an additional $3.95. So with tax and tip, it's going to be $3.95 plus $20.00. So my total is going to be $23.95. So if I go back to the original question, is $25 enough to cover the cost of a $20 haircut with 4.75% uh, sales tax and a 15% tip? And the answer is yes, it is. Now it's your turn. Uh, I want you to practice problems B and C on page 153. Um, pause the video here, come up with your solution, hit play and see if your answer matches mine. For problem B, I got a total of $18. So that's the $15 for the Uber ride plus the 20% tip. In problem C, I got a total of $52.92, and that's the cost of the spa treatment plus the tax and tip. Here's one more example for you. Example four on page 154 says, a store pays $150 for a GPS navigation system. The markup is 25%. Find the selling price. Okay. So I can think of this again as part equals N times W. Now, my part this time is going to be the markup. So my percent is going to be 25%. Oh, I got that a little bit wrong. Sorry about that. The cost of the uh, GPS system is not $150, it's $56. I guess we still could have done it with $150, but let's just keep it the way it is in the, in the book. $56. So I'm gonna take my percent, which is 0.25, and I got that because it's 25% and 25% as a decimal is 0 0.25. And I'm gonna multiply that by the cost that the store pays for the GPS system. So here's an example of a store pays for something to sell to you, they mark it up by a certain percent in order for them to make a profit. 0 0.25 times 56 is going to be $14. So now I need to take that $14 and add it on to the price that they purchased the GPS uh, system for. And so now I'm going to get a total cost of $70. I want you to try one more before working on your assignment for class, and that's going to be page 154, problem D. Solve this, pause the, uh, I guess pause first, then solve the problem, hit play, and see if your answer matches mine. 
So the store that paid $150 for a portable basketball scoreboard and marked that up by 40%, the selling price is $210. Now what I'd like for you to do is to work on these problems on page 155, numbers two, four, six, eight, and nine. Have these completed by the next class so that we can break ourselves up into our small groups. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more math tutorial videos. See you next time.